be used against me. I know them to the fullest. Ochikalo Brax. Well, um, you are saying what you are saying because you are a one-time Southeast governor and um, during your reign, there, there was IPOP and uh, Abia happens to be the hometown of the IPOP leader. Then, yes, the rapport between you and Mazi Namde Kanu was very tight. Not until you sold yourself to the Fulani Janjaweed. Okay, so you are saying what you are saying because of old flow, old relationship. So what about now? In this very broadcast, Oji Uzokalo, the Senate Chief Whip, is saying bragging, bragging with um, a baby that he has no reason to use IPOP against him because they both are in the same lane with IPOP. You are in the same lane with IPOP and you are trying to get Namdekano deceived, deceived and to accept an offer that will jeopardize the happiness of the people of Biafra. You are in good time with IPOP and you try to, uh, to deceive the people of Biafra into believing that one Nigeria is the best thing that they should ever embrace. You connived with the Fulani Janjaweed to give away the land that belongs to the Southeast to Fulani people for cattle market. My dear, that was during the old days. Now, Biafrans knows you now. They knows you now. There is nothing you will hide. There is nothing you will hide. Yes, you can say what you what what you want to say that there is no way a baby can uh, can can uh, use IPOP against you. You are right. Okay, but the facts still remain that you are still very much far far from IPOP. Very far from IPOP because you have really sold yourself to the Fulanese. That you both exist in the Senate doesn't still put a very good smile on the face of you both. A very bay is the only man that has been speaking the minds of the Biafrans. He has stood for them in good time and in bad time. He has defended them of recent he proved IPOP to be right even before the uh, before uh, uh, the the Igbo, Igbo governors and leaders. They pointed accusing fingers at Namde Kano, saying that they are the ones behind the many gun men attack. What did you do as regard to that? What was your move after that allegation? It has been a baby that has been standing, speaking and challenging them, telling them that never, that IPOP is never, can never and will never be a part of such evil. So what you are saying right now, I tell you that you are only trying to be sentimental. That is your state. Sentimental to the last. Okay? So, uh, based on your argument, I will tell you that a baby knows what he is saying and what he is doing. Okay, look at what the argument entails. 
the chief whip of the Senate and former governor of Abia State Senator Oji Uzokalo has responded to reports circulating in the media that the senator representing Abia State Senator Enyinaya Eberwe incited members of the indigenous people of Biafra to attack his country home in Iberi, Abia State. Opera News recently reported that a member of the IPOP Chukuma UBDK reviewed how Senator Eberibe reached out to some members of the IPOP, urging them to attack Senator Kalu's country home. The report quoted Eberibe to have stated that the attack will send a good signal to other stakeholders from the southeast who have refused to identify with the IPOP but responding to the report. Kalu, in a statement signed by Barista Emeka Umala of the Office of the Senate Chief Whip, said Senator Iberibe has no reason to incite IPOP against him. He said Iberibe and Kalu have a good working relationship on the floor of the Senate, adding that working to put food on the tables of Nigerians is their major concern. Part of the statement reads, Such reports ought to be ignored because there is no reason for such a call. Senator Carlos' stance on national unity is neither new nor ambiguous to anyone. He has long stood for a united Nigeria and anyone trying to take advantage of the current insecurity in Nigeria to create further tension has failed. Kalu and Eberibe may share different political ideologies and disciplines but do not welcome destruction. Our aim is to continue moving forward and impacting more on the lives of our constituents and no one can distract us. In the little period we have served Abia North, we have beyond expectations. We built 19 roads in the first year and we are doing another 17 roads in this second year. We have renovated schools, rebuilt hospitals, empowered many of our people and we continue to do more. We believe that our score card should be an inspiration to others and not a threat. We are glad that our people are happy with our representations. We are therefore not threatened by rumors of destruction because our people don't believe in destroying their homes to hurt their enemies. Tasking the constituents on vigilance, Kalu urged the people of Abia North to ignore their reports and whatever it tries to achieve and continue their daily activities. We urge you to stay vigilant at all times. We are more concerned in providing infrastructure for our people than entertaining reports of threats. The Senate Chief Whip said. Okay, so you are saying that it's actually a false news. <laughs> My dear viewers, it's up to you. Based on what Ojuz or Kala just said, I've said what I feel. Yes, to him, it may be a false news, but the picture is clear. A baby can never be by the side of Ojuz or Kalo. You understand though he may not use ipop to his to attack him but he will never support us because you know he has a very bad agenda for ipop all right let me hear from you and know what you have to say about all of this if you are new don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you